The USS John F. Kennedy is the second ship of the U.S. Ford-class aircraft carrier, which was launched in 2019 after a long outfitting process after several delayed service and now also came out. It is expected to be commissioned in the second quarter of 2025. The carrier has a full load displacement of nearly 120,000 tons and can carry a minimum of 75 aircraft if it is fully loaded with F-35 or F, a 15E, F aircraft. Therefore, many people have claimed that this carrier is at least 50 years ahead of the world. The United States Ford-class aircraft carrier John F. Kennedy can really lead the world as the outside world said 50 years. From the technical parameters, the Kennedy does have a significant advantage as the second ship of the Ford-class aircraft carrier. It carries the A-1B nuclear reactor can achieve unlimited endurance, equipped with four electromagnetic catapults, the maximum catapult weight of 45 tons, the deck area of 23,000 square meters, can carry 75 F-35C and other carrier aircraft. Theoretically, can take off and land 2,000 times a day and night, far more than the operational efficiency of conventional aircraft carriers. In addition, its use of gallium nitride radar technology to increase the sensitivity by 35 times, stealth design optimization and all-electric propulsion system, further strengthens the comprehensive combat power. In fact, if there is no China, the Kennedy is really leading the world for 50 years. After all, the current world has a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier countries. In addition to a U.S. there is only one France. The French Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier that 40,000 tons of displacement is obviously far worse than the U.S. Kennedy aircraft carrier. In addition, France is also developing the next generation of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. And France's next generation of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers not to mention the earliest to 2038 to be able to service, alone its tonnage is only about 80,000 tons. But far from being able to in the United States of America's current Kennedy aircraft carriers compared. So without China, the only country that can keep up with the U.S. in the field of aircraft carriers is France. In France's next generation aircraft carriers will not enter service until 2038, and the tonnage is only 80,000 tons. France may have to 50 years before the United States can arrive at the current level of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. But with China it is different. The current China does not have a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, but the carrier development speed is very fast. In 2022, China launched its largest aircraft carrier, the Fujian ship. Although the Fujian is still only a conventionally powered carrier, China did not have the ability to produce aircraft carriers until about 10 years ago, when the Fujian was built. China's first carrier, the Liaoning, was launched in 2012 and was a direct conversion of the Soviet carrier, the Varyag. By the time of the Shandong ship, the carrier was just a copycat optimized from the Liaoning. So until 2017, when the Shandong ship was launched, China was just barely capable of building an aircraft carrier. At this time, China's aircraft carrier technology is not to say compared with the United States, is compared with France and the United Kingdom two countries, but also still short of a cut. But in 2022, China directly launched 80,000 tons of Fujian ship. This carrier is top of the line in every aspect of its design except that it is not a nuclear-powered carrier. For example, the electromagnetic catapult system on it, there is no third one in the world except the United States. China's aircraft carrier technology development speed is very amazing. From 2012 launched Liaoning ship to 2022 launched Fujian ship, China from no aircraft carrier to build 80,000 tons of advanced aircraft carriers only took 10 years. According to China's aircraft carrier development speed, China's fast in 2027, slow in 2037, the probability will have their own 100,000 tons and nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, by then China's aircraft carrier technology level will be comparable to the United States. So compared to China, the United States Ford-class aircraft carrier lead is not 50 years. In fact, when it comes to the development of aircraft carriers, we should not only pay attention to the technology of aircraft carriers, but also pay attention to the construction speed of aircraft carriers. Although the current U.S. Navy still has the world's most advanced aircraft carrier technology, the U.S. aircraft carrier construction speed is actually not as fast as China. Take the aircraft carrier Kennedy we mentioned above as an example. This aircraft carrier was launched in late 2019, and now in February 2025. It has been outfitted for a full five years. The normal outfitting time for an aircraft carrier is two to three years, 
five years for the JFK is clearly not normal. In addition, the Ford class carrier's first ship, the Ford, was launched in 2013, and the second ship, the Kennedy, was launched in 2019, almost six years between carriers, already slower than China's average production of one carrier every five years. According to the rate of one carrier every six years, in the case of the second ship Kennedy launched in 2019, the U.S. Ford class carriers should be launched at the end of 2025. But judging from online sources, as of February 2025, the U.S. Ford class carrier's third ship, the Enterprise, has not even completed its mid-hull hull. According to this progress, the carrier will not be launched until 2027 at the earliest, eight years after the launch of the second ship Kennedy. And in order to catch up with the schedule, so that the construction of Doris Miller, the fourth ship of the Ford class carriers, will not lag too far behind, the United States in November 2024, the Enterprise's mid-hull hull transferred to the west end of the dock and began the construction of the Doris Miller in the east end of the dock. In other words, the U.S. was planning to build two carriers at the same time in order to speed up the construction of the carriers. Building two carriers at the same time sounds powerful, but anyone who knows anything about carrier service cycles knows that it's not a good sign and that it could cause management confusion and a host of other problems. What's more, the United States is now outfitting the Kennedy and the construction of the Enterprise are a series of problems, which at the same time, the construction of the Enterprise and Miller, I do not know whether to say that the United States is a high artist or should say that the United States of America, on the current their own shipbuilding capabilities do not have a little self-awareness. In fact, in the final analysis, a country's naval strength, including aircraft carriers, is highly linked to the strength of its shipbuilding industry. People have always attached great importance to the United States' naval strength on the books, but ignored the United States' future naval strength that is, shipbuilding capacity, in constant decline. The current U.S. shipbuilding industry, including warships and civilian ships, including the average annual displacement of 1 million tons, compared with China's shipbuilding industry is the average annual displacement of more than 40 million tons. It can be said that the current U.S. ship launching tonnage is less than a fraction of China. Although the United States on the books of the total size of the Navy is much larger than China, an aircraft carrier technology compared to China has a leading edge. But because of the problems of the shipbuilding industry, the United States cannot lead the advantage of a few years.